Hey, this is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and today I'm going to show you how to give a sub-Q injection. A sub-Q injection, also known as a subcutaneous injection, is an injection where that goes into the fat of the skin. It's different than an intramuscular shot, which is given in a muscle. So, I'm going to show you how that's done. Typically, heparin, insulin, Lovenox, those are given in the fat of the skin. Today, we're going to give our mannequin, Miss Smith, a sub-Q injection of two units of regular insulin. And we're going to go in the abdomen. You can go in the back of the arms, you can go on the fat of the legs, uh, or in the abdomen. But I'm going to show you how to do the abdomen. First, what you want to do is you want to get your medicine. We've already drawn up two units of insulin. You want to get a subcutaneous needle. These should be in your clean hole. You'll want to get your gloves, do hand hygiene, and get your alcohol prep. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the abdomen and you'll find the um, umbilical area and you'll want to go two inches away from the umbilical area and ask the patient where's the last time they gave you your shot because you don't want to go in the same area. She told me that they went over here last time so this time we're going to go on this side. So we're about two inches away from the um, umbilical area. What we're going to do is we're going to clean the area for about three to five seconds with the alcohol prep in a nice circular motion, keeping it um, as clean as possible. And this isn't a sterile procedure. You can use clean gloves. And we clean the area. And then we're going to get our syringe. We're going to take the cap off. And um, you're sort of just going to pinch the fat of the skin, okay? Um, so just pinch that and you're going to go in at a 90 degree angle like you're throwing a dart. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in at 90 degrees. No need to aspirate like how you do with the IM injection. Just going to give it, take your needle out, engage the safety, and put it in the sharps. And that is how you get a sub-Q injection. It's so easy and so simple. It takes some technique. But after you get it down, it's easy. So I hope you like this video. If you want to watch a video on how to start an IV, how to give an IM injection, I have all those. So be sure to check those out. And thank you so much for watching. And be sure to visit my website, registerednursrn.com, which is a nursing resource for you and all the nursing students out there. Thank you.